This is pretty neat. Nashville SC starts up its season coming Saturday at Nissan Stadium, but work on the team's new home that's well underway. Today, the club gave its first in person tour of the site to our Kayla Anderson. She's live for us now near the Nashville Fairgrounds and Kayla, you got the details. Let's go. Absolutely, Eric. You know, a lot of progress has been made here since January when workers installed the very first beam at the stadium. Now, as you can see behind me, there's an actual structure and inside stands and sections being put into place and a whole lot of concrete. Today, Nashville SC CEO Ian Air told us during the tour that uh, really he tries to come down here each year and every week to make sure the construction is going well. He likes to monitor the situation and the progress and of course to soak in the excitement. You know, this is a soccer specific stadium being built, which is set to open May of 2022. It will be the largest MLS stadium holding 30,000 supporters and it's going to be really appealing to anybody, even those who are not soccer fans. Air said once the stadium is actually finished, he thinks it can be the hottest ticket in town. Any team, whether you're a soccer fan, a football fan, a hockey fan or whatever it is, you know, there's nothing, nothing like going to the home venue of your team being with your fans and your supporters in your seat, you know, enjoying that atmosphere. And, and that's, you know, that we want that to become a staple for the Nashville people and the people of Tennessee is that, what are you doing Saturday? We're going to the soccer game, you know, cause this will be an amazing venue. It absolutely will be. And during the tour, uh, he told us this is just one of the several events leading up to Nashville SC's season opener this Saturday at Nissan Stadium. And just a reminder, if you are planning on attending games this year, you will be required to wear a mask at that at the games. And that is per MLS reporting here in Nashville. Kayla Anderson, News 2 Sports.